Do you or a loved one suffer from congestive heart failure or a supraventricular dysrhythmia? This can be scary, but cardiac glycosides can help. Commonly known as digoxin or digitalis, cardiac glycosides work to treat congestive heart failure and supraventricular dysrhythmia. You may be asking, how do they work? Cardiac glycosides work by causing an increase in intracellular calcium ions, a key component to muscle contraction. The end result is an increased filling time known as diastole and a quicker, more forceful contraction. Cardiac glycosides also enhance vagal tone, which slows the heart rate. A lower heart rate helps control supraventricular dysrhythmias such as atrial flutter and atrial fibrillation. It is important to talk to your doctor about any medications you are currently taking or plan to start or stop while taking cardiac glycosides. Interactions may affect how the medication works and in some cases could result in a toxic reaction. Because of the medication's effect on the body, cardiac glycosides have the potential to be toxic. Inform your doctor of any kidney or liver conditions you may have as this may affect your ability to take cardiac glycosides. Additionally, have your doctor check liver and kidney function regularly once on the medication. Some common side effects of cardiac glycosides include dizziness or lightheadedness, drowsiness, blurred or yellow vision, rash, and irregular heartbeat. Please tell your doctor if these symptoms are severe or do not go away. Some side effects may be severe. Call your doctor immediately if you experience any of the following symptoms. Upset stomach, vomiting, diarrhea, loss of appetite, swelling of the feet or hands, unusual weight gain, or difficulty breathing. Cardiac glycosides will have an effect on exercise. Cardiac output can be expected to remain relatively constant. Heart rate is expected to decrease in patients with atrial fibrillation and possibly decrease in patients with congestive heart failure. Heart rate is not significantly altered in patients with sinus rhythm. Blood pressure can be expected to remain constant at both rest and exercise. Possible ECG changes at rest include nonspecific ST T wave changes. During exercise, the ECG may show ST segment depression. Overall, exercise capacity is shown to increase in patients with both atrial fibrillation and congestive heart failure. Don't let your heart get in the way of your life. Talk to your doctor today and see what cardiac glycosides can do for you. Created using Powtoon.